So this morning we're going to be replacing an outside light. The light that we're going to be replacing is this one up here. It's just a little LED floodlight. Obviously the front cover's missing and everything is not in very good condition. And we're going to be replacing it with this, um, it's a cast aluminium um, lantern. And so it's quite a nice one. And so it looks to me the cable comes through here. And so we're just going to put that in its place like that. So the first thing we want to do is just have a quick tidy up, get all, rid of all these cobwebs. There's quite a few up here. Okay, so it looks relatively simple. Um, the first thing we need to do is carry out um, the safe isolation to make sure that this circuit is dead. So I'll just turn the light on. No, it's not that one. There you go. So that one's on. So now I'm going to go and turn off the circuit breaker. I'll now check these against my proving unit. So we've turned off the um, circuit breaker and you can see the light's gone off. And so now just to double check, I'll take my voltage indicators and we'll just, we'll just check. So what have we got? We've got, where's the line? So we've got the neutral and the line. So there's no voltage appearing. We'll just check between the um, earth and the line. Again, nothing there and nothing between the earth and the neutral. So I'll now check these against my proving unit and then that's all okay. I've got my locking off kit here and so I'll go and lock off the circuit breaker. So we've isolated the board and we have locked off our circuit breaker. So we're happy that the circuit is safely isolated. So now we can take, start taking things apart, getting rid of the bits and pieces. Because it's a double fold RCBO, we're okay not to worry about the, um, and that, well, the RCBO is turned off, so it's not going to trip if we touch the neutral and the earth together. Let's take this off. Man. Okay, so that's the little spotlight that we've took off, a little 10 watt LED spotlight. Quite a nice little one. And then we'll take this one off here. Okay, so just checking everything's okay. They all look in reasonable condition. Don't think all been doubled up nicely. I don't think there's anything we need to really worry about there. Um, there's various holes been drilled in the brickwork here so there's obviously been lights uh, more than one light been up here before so we might get away with having to drill any more holes <clears throat> so we've got the we've got this light fitting here it's got nice brass terminations so it looks like it's a good quality unit so we'll take this bar off at the back oh no me being thick. 
So you just simply undo these little brass, these little brass um, nuts. And they come off and this should just pop out. I say it should just pop out. There you go. And so now we'll put this light down and we'll just fix this nicely against the wall. So like I said, there's already holes here. So maybe we can, yep, that lines up perfectly with those two existing wall plugs that are in from a previous light, the little yellow ones. We're back again. I've got the screws, I'm using an inch and a half countersunk screws and a washer. I think it's really important to use it's just a small little sort of just a washer. It just spreads the um, spreads the area on this, it spreads the, um, the, the pressure on the plate without having to damage it too much. We we'll probably only need to use inch screws on this one, but the lantern itself is quite heavy, so. There we go. That's good, pretty good to me. That's on there nice and firmly. So the next thing is with the lamp, we'll take the front, just drop the nut, careful not to do that. So we'll take the two little screw the brass screws out and just remove the lamp not just unscrews like that that's quite simple actually I thought it just popped out but actually screws in there screws in like that and then the cover just goes over it like so so unscrew that remove this and then just unscrew that and that comes apart that way, if we drop this while we're fitting it by accident, we're not going to damage the glass. So I've put the front cover on. So now that's the one that I dropped. So we've got that. And so we've got this. So if we look inside here, we have the terminations all within here. And so let's have a look at how that is. I'm not always too keen on using these. I just prefer just to do the connections outside, but yeah, so that's how how the terminations are. I suppose we may as well use them. They're fiddly things to use really, these covers, but we'll just unscrew the, those little brass terminations inside. So they're, they're quite, they're reasonable, reasonably good quality. So we'll take, and then we've got this um, this black cover off. We've got this black cover here. So we'll slide that over. In fact, I don't want it to be as long as that. It doesn't need to be that long. I might just have to redo the terminations, but. So I'll just put that over. Okay, so I'm gonna opt, I'm not gonna use this block anymore because it's just not big enough to get all the connections in there nice and neatly and I'm gonna to have to have, I'm just gonna have very, very small connections in there. So I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna opt for using the Wago connectors. So because these ones have been doubled back, these have all been doubled back, they don't want to be. So we'll just cut them all off. Now if that was an RCD controlling the circuit, so if there was just a circuit breaker controlling this and, a, um, and, a, and an RCD, that would have tripped the RCD by cutting the, um, because of the, um, the neutral and the CPC. Um, but because it's an RCBO, it's okay. That's a bit of earth sleeving, a bit tatty, so we'll put a new one on there. That I've cut them a bit too long, they should be about eight millimeters or so. So these are just the 
the little Wago connectors, just the lever types, they're really good quality. And they just literally lock in. And that's that one done. Apart from the CPC, obviously. So now we've got these ones to do. So we'll get these ones in as well. That's locked in. That one's locked in nicely. And I'll just leave it to hang and I'll just go and get the um go and get a CPC cover. So we'll just cover so I've got some new CPC sleeve in. This is the two mil as opposed to what was on it, it was the three three mil. I just think the two mil was much neater. Put that on there, it's still a bit too long. It's perfect. Okay. Now, it's not good practice what I was doing there just by leaving this to hang off these connections. Um, so just make sure that nothing's come loose. It all looks like it's still in good condition, so that's, that's okay. Now, luck, the good thing on this one, I've got plenty of flexibility on the cable here, so I can just tuck that back a little bit and I can fold this nice and neatly. No, I'm not just, not just gonna push it all back in, I'm gonna try and fold it in like a bit of a spring fashion so it's not all twisted badly or, or any sort of strain on any of the joints or anything. And then everything just tucks in there nice and neatly. So I'll just bring that in there and you can just see everything's nice and neat inside the light. You can't always do that because sometimes there's not an awful lot of space, but this one, it seems to be okay. So that's just on there like that. So a couple of things to remember is just to check that the um, the bracket itself is level so it's not perfectly level so I'll just adjust it slightly and that looks pretty good to me so that's going to go on there so again fold these back in it's nice and neat okay so we've got these little um these little nuts now they don't come with washers but i like to put little brass washers on as well i just think it's that nice little um just finishes it off that little bit better and so i'll do this one as well so again put the little so it's just a little just a little brass washer so that goes on there and again it's on there I'm not going to do them too tight at the moment I'm just leave them like just leave them like that so that's fitted on there nice and neatly so the next thing then is to um, put a lamp in so we've got a little nice little um, LED filament lamp Edison screw or E27 as they're known. Again, you don't want to do these too tight. They only need to be done sort of just finger tight. They don't need to be tight at all. So I've dis I've, I've um, um the, the, the power should be back on. So let's see if it works. And it does. Now the reason why I've tried it now to make sure that it works is to rather put all the casing back on to then find that it doesn't work you then have to take it all apart again so um, so we've done so we've just checked that it all works which it looks like it does so we'll just turn turn that off so now we know that everything works um, and it's and it's all okay now I'm just going to unscrew these these bits now these are brass and obviously the the screw is steel um, 
if this was going to be outside, um, exposed to the elements, you can have um, issues with the corrosion and, and, and stuff like this. And and so you, usually when you've got a brass a brass on steel, it's okay. Um, but people often tighten them up really tight and they're really, they, they can be uh, impossible to undo sometimes. So just get a little bit of grease. This is just a, a Mintex. This is a braking, um, used on braking calipers, on, on brake calipers on cars, but it's just a little bit of grease. And I'm just gonna put a little bit just inside making sure that I'm not going to get it all over the light we just want it inside the thread now you can use Vaseline um, you can use copper slip anything like that but I just think it's a good thing to do it just means that these will always undo, undo nice and easily again not doing them too tight So now we've got the um, got the glass bolts put on. I'm just giving it a bit of a, a clean, and again that just fits over there. In fact, let's see if we can take that sticker off because that doesn't look that nice on there. There you go. Take that sticker off. Again, they don't need doing too tight literally just just finger tight and it's in there nice and nice and firmly now with the other brass um, the other brass screws again i'm going to put a small wash on slightly different size to the other one and again a little bit of grease on the end there don't know if you can see that and so then we can put this on. Again, there's no need, I'm trying to emphasize the fact that there's no need to do everything really tight. Give everything a, a double check and there you go that's the light fitted let's just try it again works absolutely fine so pleased with that job all looks nice and neat and um should be okay